Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we see how Detroiters embrace the cold at the Motown Winter Blast. Check out custom cars and their fans at the Autorama. And then we score some deals at the D's coolest indoor bazaar. So stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau. Driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. One more beautiful thing about Detroit, the Motown Winter Blast. We've got ice skating, dog sledding, snowshoeing, restaurants, music, and tons of fun right here in the heart of downtown at Campus Marshes Park. This is, this is just great for downtown Detroit, keeping a festival going that celebrates the winter. Uh, yeah. It's the one weekend you could skate for free in Campus Marshes Park, where folks can snowshoe and we have dog sledding exhibitions. We roast marshmallows here. We have an outdoor carnival. One of the, the great uh, things that we have is an ice garden filled with spectacular ice sculptures. They're lit at night. So much to do and celebrate in the wintertime. It's just a really great atmosphere. It is. And, you know, it's nice outside, but sometimes it gets a little chilly. Yeah. We've got uh, comfort zones. So inside there, we have three music stages that run. 54 music acts will play throughout the weekend. There's fabulous restaurants as well. Not just your typical festival fair, but yeah. we have Brazilian steakhouses, seafood markets, Middle Eastern. You know, Detroit is back. Uh, so many new employees in the district. Great corporations yeah. have moved in, like Quicken Loans recently, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Galaxy, Marketing Associates, Health Plan, Meridian Health Plan. So many new employees, new energy in the downtown, and we are thrilled. The Winter Blast showcases all the, the great developments. You know, we expect to have nearly 100,000 people over three days That's in downtown fantastic. Detroit. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, John. Great to see you. So we've got everyone here in line to get fit, literally get fit physically, and they're getting fit for free snowshoeing. They get to go out there and go around the thing right here in the heart of the city, and it's so much fun. And the line's moving really quickly, too. Okay, so I understand you're here from Brazil for the first time, correct? Yes. And so what is she's an exchange student living with you? Yes, she is. We're a host family and we live in Ramelis and she's attending Ramelis High School with my daughter Alexis. <laughs> she will be with us for a whole year. And so and you brought her downtown yes, for the motel we winter Yes, for the so winter plan. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about what's your opinion of Detroit? It's a really nice place. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. And is this your first time seeing snow? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so are you having a blast here at the festival? It's pretty cool right in the heart of the city. Yeah. Okay, so how cool is this? Right here on the street, we've got a full-blown carnival. We've got a roller coaster, carousel, all kinds of rides. I mean, this is just as much fun as any festival in the summer. We've got the snow. thing you don't see in the heart of the city too often. Dog sledding. They're giving demonstrations. They're answering questions. They're going to go around the thing a couple times. Something really cool if you haven't seen it before. So tell me, you've been coming down here for years. You come every year to the Motown Winter Blast? Every year. What keeps you coming back? Detroit. Detroit? I love Detroit. 
Yeah. It's the greatest place. We'll be right in the top five in a couple of years. So this is great. We've got Marshmallow Rose State people are making s'mores and you're about to do this. Tell me how you're enjoying the winter blast. It's awesome. We've been here for like two hours now and I haven't got cold yet. The weather is beautiful and the festival is fantastic. <laughs> and of course, this is the creme de la creme of roasting yes. marshmallows out and out on the street in downtown. It's fabulous. Yes, it is. <laughs> I brought my kids down here today. It's a very good life experience. All right, that's what I like here. You having fun too? Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, family. Woo! <laughs>
area. This is what we call Autorama Extreme. Extreme. And this is where we have all what we call the traditional rods. These are cars that look like they came out of the 50s and early 60s. Yeah. And the people that own these aren't from the 50s and 60s. As a matter of fact, they probably weren't born until they were in the 90s. Really? And they're yeah, doing they're, they're a bunch of 20 something year old guys that really want to emulate James Dean. And this is our Tuner Gallery area. All right. And you'll meet Jim Pan, who's the organizer of the special section for us. Great. Well, I want to say thanks to you, Pete. Well, Pete's. thank you for coming. So, Jim, explain to me, Tuner Galleria, what does that mean? Yeah, Tuner Galleria is a show within a show concept uh, within uh, Championship Auto Show Series, World of Wheels and Autorama, where we encompass uh, import vehicles, uh, uh, European uh, sport bikes, uh, and, and yeah, just a different genre of vehicle than what you typically see at an Autorama. And this is really appealing to a lot of the young kids. Absolutely, yeah, you know, it's the sort of the Fast and Furious generation. So these are hot rod bikes? These are actually uh, sport bikes. Sport um, and, bikes. Yeah, and you know, one of our uh, local uh, vendors uh, that modifies vehicles and bikes brought out this awesome display, you know, of 15 uh, sport bikes. Well, Jim, I want to say thanks. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to go take a look around. Perfect, right. okay, thanks. They've got live entertainment in the basement, rockabilly music to rock onto the cars to. So this car is owned by you and you're only 13 and you did all of this. He found this car at a car show in the summer and he said, Dad, I gotta have this car. So he did everything he could to save for this car. He just fixed it all up in your garage? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me and my dad. Yeah, this is what a cool project to do with your dad. And here you are showing it on a Rama. I've owned this car for, uh, got it in July of 94. 94? So original 32 Chevy, original frame. Rebuilt it. Rebuilt from the it. ground up. It yes. was pretty Did all the body, junk. paint, did the planes by hand. And you drive it more than he does. Sometimes I do. I drive it more than he does. You have to drive it or it will drive you. Yeah. <laughs> so is that what inspired you guys, big Batman lovers? Um, yeah, Bob. Bob Causey is the owner of the car, and he's he's been a Batman person for his whole life. This is so cool. Can you actually drive it? The car actually drives very well. It's a ZZ4 small block Chevy, crate motor. It's all tubular chassis. The smaller wings in the back are carbon fiber. The rest of the body is all composite, high temp epoxy. Okay. It's got air conditioning in the cockpit. Everything works. Look at how high tech that is! Wow! I love the light. So, so how many people did it take to make this come true? Six of us really all come together and put it together for Bob. Thank so. you so much. Thank you. Have fun with your uh, Batmobile. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So up front they had the new Batmobile, but back here they've got the original Batmobile from this series when Adam West was Batman. We've got the robot from Lost in Space. There's all kinds of goodies happening here. These cars along here are for Builder of the Year, and this year it was Chuck Miller. He's a hometown guy, and this one behind me, this was actually built from a little toy model car. He built this in 69, it's called the Red Baron. He made it into a golf cart as well. So Chuck, this is something else you're very proud of. You built this from a toy model too? No, I nope. built this one first in first. 1968, mm -hmm. and then the MPC, the model company, they made the model off of that. They made the model off of what you built? Oh, yes. they yep. have to be the greater owner, that's oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. So you even won the auto the prestigious Autorama the Riddler, Riddler Award. Award. That's all the marbles. Now this is a book that you had made just to debut with the Autorama. Yes, yes, we just finished it just a couple days ago, just in time. We've got a show within a show here behind me. This is the Toyorama with toys for big kids and little kids. Tammy, so you're Rarity. You're one of the oh, female car owner in the top eight. I mean, you're up for the Riddler Award this year. Yes, ma'am. I made one of the top eight cars to hear at, and that's one of the prestigious awards. I did a lot of the designing. I really didn't build it. Ted Thomas from TNT Customs actually built the car for me. It's a 427 all aluminum small block. It's uh, fuel injected and it has uh, gold nuggets that are on the valve covers from my gold mine out of Dahlonega, Georgia. Is it a street car? Uh, not right now. No. It may eventually be, but right now it's specifically show car. Thank you, Tammy, Thank and you I wish you much. much.
We've seen the most dazzling chops, sizzling strikes, souped up masterpieces created from gearheads around the country, and you can come see their works of art every year at the Autorama. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Enjoy 70 madcap minutes of all seven Harry Potter books condensed into one show, and a chorus line hits the stage. The Autorama has everything for custom car crazy fans, and the zoo has a wild winter safari scavenger hunt. Cast away for the Midwest fly fishing show, and Corktown gets a jump start on St. Patrick's Day. Disney on Ice's latest theme is Dare to Dream, and the Spring Boat Expo sails into Novi. Downtown Royal Oak celebrates St. Patrick's Day with a parade, and The Constant Wife is a comedy of manners. Don't miss the wickedly funny musical from the creators of South Park, or the great movie music of Henry Mancini at the Max. Championship College Hockey faces off at the Joe. Then hop on over to the Detroit Zoo for Bunnyville's Egg Stravaganza. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. I am standing in the middle of the historic Russell Industrial Complex. Now it's a series of seven interconnected buildings that were designed by Albert Kahn and it's right in downtown Detroit at the corner of I-75 and I-94. Now the building behind me has been converted into the Russell Bazaar and the vendors inside are keeping the Detroit industry spirit alive. It, it's just an exciting place. It's, uh modeled after the European and Asian uh, street bazaars. So how, how big is the place? Well, we're about 90,000 square feet here all together. And we've got space for 200 vendors and we're at about 135 right now. Okay. So, so are the vendors all on the first level then? Or are they? Right, this one level. We're all on one level. One level Easy here. access once you're in here. So now you're open just weekends? Right, Friday, uh, Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays also. 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday and Saturday till 9 at night. Oh, all okay. day. And Sunday from uh, 11 to 6. Okay, so pretty typical mall hours, but you can come yeah. here instead of the mall for some kind of different shopping. Right. For a very unique experience. Yeah, it's, fun. it's really cool. I want to kind of take a tour of the place. Sure, well, come on down. Okay. Here, for instance, you can get your hair cut at Prestige Cuts. Tony is uh, the proprietor back there, and uh, the hair places are actually open seven days a week. So they're, they're uh, regular 10 to 6 hours during the week, and then our, our bizarre hours on the weekend. Okay. So, Samba Ka here, he has some of the most unique things that we have here. Yeah. He will actually hand carve these, oh, wow. uh, and they're, they're animals all in here. Uh, there's, yeah, okay, I can see like a see, shark. Yep, yeah, there's a shark. And, you know, it, he's very creative. This is a small version. He's got some very intricate ones. This is uh, must be a more recent one. I don't know where to look. I don't know where yeah. to even start. Well, it's, a, it's a rainbow <laughs> it's of everything. Board, in there, yeah. You know. You have a food court here and a stage. What goes on here? We'll have jazz. We'll have. Uh, gospel choirs, we'll have all types of different... Is that, uh, that like on Saturday night you have the well, bands? Well, through the days on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so what kind of food can you get here? What have we got? We've Nicky's got and Locos, which if you're in the trade area, you might be familiar with their downtown stores. Exactly, down in uh, Bricktown, yeah. They, they have uh, their annex uh, restaurants here. The, the Dollar Deli over here is unique. We've got the whole range of everything here. Uh, printing, you need printing or posters. T-shirts, wow, customized. Okay. This is a good example, uh, Urban Wear Fashion. Mm -hmm. They started off in one of our smaller uh, 10 by 12 booths. Right. And now uh, they've moved in, he's expanded his product line. Uh, you can see they're just getting ready to put their sign on cool. uh, to hang it up here. And that's, that's what we hope to happen here. We want yeah. businesses to start out, to grow with us, and to get bigger. And you know, these, these guys are one of our success stories. Wonderful. So. Of course, you can't have a mall without games. Yeah, what is, oh, so they're selling games and all that kind of stuff yeah, here. they sell the games and the accessories. Always a sucker for pine sets. Oh, it yeah. smells good. Uh, I don't want to smell that. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read the name of it? <laughs> oh, it smells like uh, mango. <laughs> this is Audrey with Hands of Grace uh, 
store. Hi, Audrey. Hello. Lori. So you you've got a prime spot right here in the front. Yes. <laughs> and you've I got. Really like no. What what are you selling here? Perfume I have and authentic designer purses at the top here. All of our fragrances over here. And we also have men's fragrances here. Antiques, books, and collectibles. That's Annie Lee work right back there, isn't it? Ah, uh, Annie Lee. Annie Lee. Stuff on the wall. So distinctive. Oh, there, yeah. yeah. One of my biggest prides about this place is we have a gallery, our own gallery here. It's called the Russell Gallery. We've been wow. open now a little over a year in the, just the gallery. Just okay. And we've, we've showcased a few different shows. Uh, David's sitting there on the computer. He's our, uh, he's the art curator. He's the one that actually puts together the show. Oh, I'd like okay. to take credit, but David's the guy that puts these together for us. Well, JT, I want to thank you for okay. showing me around, and I saw a couple places that I want to go back to and check out. All right, Veronica. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Thanks, JT. Okay. <laughs>they've got live plants for sale here and if that doesn't tell you what a huge variety they have here then I don't know what does and they're owned by the owner of Cosmic Creations right you've got thank just you a variety of stuff well, in here well thank you I have a, <laughs> you know I call it a menagerie you've got two spaces so I mean you are a success story of how well this is working how is business well it's been a blessing we've been here over a year you know and, uh, and we're just, this is an incubator for minority businesses entrepreneurs you know, small and diverse. It is a beautiful opportunity in the city of Detroit. Looking for a hat that says the D on it? Well, this place here, I think, has everyone ever made. Everything imaginable, every color combination. The back end of the bazaar has furniture for sale here. I'm here in almost antiques. They've got all this furniture next door to a mattress place. I see we've got some art here. I mean, it's just a smorgasbord of all kinds of things to buy here. I'm shocked at the variety. Well, these are kind of cool, too. Look at that. It's like a little um, Katie did on here. That's cool. Everything in this store, $9.99 or less. Everything. Coats, jeans, tops, 10 bucks or less. And look at these are $36, but they're selling for $9.99. So True Scent, you're selling oil here, oil yes. like perfume. You wear them like perfume. And Similar, you're... but no water, no alcohol, and they're uncut. Okay. So it's more of a concentrated, pure form of fragrance. Oh, okay. And mm -hmm. so you're going to give me a little sample of something yes, here. Yes, One in particular here that's pretty popular is called Pretty. Pretty. Ooh, pretty. I like the name yes. of that. Yes. Pretty name. Just a very small amount of this, all that you need. Mm -hmm. Each person is different. Each person that you uh, that put this puts this on. Oh, it's going to smell, smell good. Yeah. So just roll it on your... It lasts a very long time. And it's better for you than perfume because... Or it's, it's an oil. It it's soaks an oil. into your skin, whereas perfume lifts from your skin. Oh, that is yeah, pretty. So very nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad I discovered you. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> and I'm here every weekend. Good in a hat, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So this, is, so this is your place? This is my place. I've been here a year. Uh, just expanded. I was in a smaller area, right in this area that you right. were at. Mm -hmm. And we just opened up this side to expand. Another success story here. That's Abs great. Absolutely. And you're Jacoby's. I'm Jacoby's Boutique. And you have a beautiful store front, if I might thank add, you, as thank well. Thank you. And a variety of hats uh, for men and women, a lot of unisex hats. Mm -hmm. and they Like the one I was looking at, very cute. Absolutely, absolutely. But you got forget, don't forget about our fedoras and the Rexies, you know. So it's, it's a variety. Not a lot of places do buy a cool hat. <laughs> Love this. It's going to be so cute on my little girl. Love it. And what a great price you guys have here. It's from the little princess shop for my little princess. Thanks. <laughs> the Russell Street Bazaar is open every weekend, including Fridays. And it's another hip corner in Detroit to discover some great deals and some one-of-a-kind items.
Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you'd like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.